Okay, you, you have to see this. Look, 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 look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Hi, I'm John from Proper Printing and in this video I'm going to, uh, to show you how to forge signatures and uh, to falsify documents using a 3D printer. Now of course not, this is YouTube, so we are going to make awesome drawings. I uh, found back my uh, old fountain pen. I'm really not good at making drawings, so I'll let uh, do the printer do it for me. Yeah, I've made this, uh, this design. And yes, just a test uh, pen. Someone already has uh, made a pen holder for the swappable hot end. It's uh, this one. It's made by Baku301. Yeah, he made a very simple but very effective uh, version of uh, a pen holder. I used his idea of um, these three V slot wheels. Uh, for mine, as you can see here, these uh, three. And the difference with the one I've made is that it has a solenoid. A solenoid is basically a coil with a uh, axis inside it. Once you put uh, voltage on it, then it will go into a linear motion. Uh, the link is down in the description of where I've bought it. It's a 12 volt version, so I can use my uh, part end fan to control the uh, the solenoid so this means that it can be controlled like the laser engraver can be controlled so in theory i can use the the software i use for laser engraving the same software the same tools uh, for drawing i have a good friend who is a tattoo artist and he has made a uh, a pen drawing for me I've asked him if he wanted to do that and he said yeah because your channel is awesome and I really want to make an awesome pen drawing for you. So he made this steampunk hot end. I have scanned this document, opened it in uh, Inkscape and I traced the bitmap and there were a lot of notes. I simplified the, uh, the paths and I've generated a g-code. In theory the printer should be able to uh, to draw this. There's a small hole here. I've tapped uh, M3 uh, in that. I've put a uh, a bolt in here so you can adjust the uh, the stroke. And I want the stroke to be as short as possible because I think that if the stroke is too long, then the printer will start moving and the pen hasn't touched the paper yet, so you have gaps in your uh, your drawing. The pen is at an angle of uh, 45 degrees, because that's a similar angle as uh, when I'm uh, writing. Uh, you can yeah, modify this part to uh, use different angles. That's why I've uh, put a wing nut here, so you can very easily replace this part. So you can create parts with different angles and different diameters. One very important thing to mention is that you really need to use a, a flyback diode when the solenoid is engaged and you disengage it all that energy is it will flow through that flyback diode and not uh, to your main board so that diode prevents your uh, main board from uh, frying i've put a 100k resistor on the thermistor side, so the printer thinks it's at 25 degrees, so your printer doesn't go into error state. Before I'm going to uh, to start drawing, I'll show a montage of, uh, of me creating this uh, thing. And I have to warn you that um, yeah, the next footage you're going to see um, will be uh, very satisfying.
This is a test run with a normal pen and start. This is not as fast as I uh, would expect. Looks like there is something wrong with the G-code. I did a quick test with another software and that seemed to work. That's a light burn as you can see here. So I have uh, opened the uh, SVG and light burn, generated the G-code and now I'm going to run another test and see if it if it does work. Run this and see what happens. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. So G code. This is exactly the reason why I didn't use my fountain pen. Okay, print. Okay, it's going to the proper direction now. Yes. <laughs> okay, this is awesome. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Yes. <laughs> this is awesome. For the grand finale, I've used some thicker paper, especially made for drawing, and I've added my fountain pen uh, on it. Let's run the G code. Yes. Okay, the idea of uh, adding a solenoid to this pen holder works fantastically, so I'm very happy with the result. And it made an awesome drawing, which again is made by a good friend uh, who is a, uh, a tattoo artist. He hasn't got a website yet. Uh, I will put a link down in the description of the place where he works. Yeah, I really hope that he will uh, make a page and once he does, I will put his page into the des description of this video. Thanks a lot for making this uh, drawing. I have some other great ideas, which I'm going to, uh, to try, but not in this video. This video is probably already long enough. So if you like this video, then uh, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already if you didn't like this video then uh, yeah hit that dislike button and if you do please uh, let me know why because then uh, i can make some uh, some changes thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video bye <laughs>